Choosing vitamin C seems confusing, but it really isn't. Linus Pauling made it very simple. He said just take pure ascorbic acid powder. Now that happens to be the cheapest form of vitamin C. It also happens to be the form that works the best. And there is no end of controversy and criticism to that statement, but I fall back on Linus Pauling, who, as you may recall, has two more Nobel Prizes than any of his critics. Dr. Pauling emphasized that vitamin C is ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is a molecule, C6, H8, O6, and those atoms arrange in a particular way to form levo or left-handed ascorbic acid. That is the biologically active form. This is the stuff that your body uses. This is also going to cause some controversy, but here's the truth of it all. By the time you get down to six carbons, eight hydrogens, and six oxygens, it does not matter where they come from. Whether the corn was GMO or not, you are now at the atomic level of life. And even Monsanto can't mess with the way protons, electrons, neutrons, and atomic bombs are bonds. <laughs> atomic bonds. <laughs> bombs, maybe they can. But uh, atomic bonding is something that is a law of chemistry, it is a law of physics, and it is not going to be changed by uh, GMO manipulation. GMO is manipulating things that are much larger than atoms, much larger than the individual molecule. Let me add that I think GMOs are a bad idea. I was still in school when they started telling us about this, and I remember distinctly presenting to my chemistry class one day a news report that they had taken genes from a lightning bug and crossed it with a tomato. And they had a tomato that if you turn the light way down, actually glowed a little bit. And I thought to myself, all right, this is not a good idea. We have to remember that messing with nature is always wrong. It has never worked. I mentioned atomic bombs earlier, but that's kind of an example of what can go wrong, what can go amiss, uh, that or Chernobyl or Fukushima, when you try to uh, mess with nature. So C6H8O6 is a small molecule that in this particular form is left-handed ascorbic acid and that is vitamin C. This stuff is cheap. The pure powder is cheap and it works very well. Most research that's been done showing that vitamin C cures disease has used the cheap vitamin C. When you go to a store and if you're encouraged to buy an expensive brand, well, you have to kind of expect that, don't you? If I go to a car dealer, there's a good chance I'm going to be encouraged to buy an expensive car. And if I go to a realtor, there's a pretty good chance I'm going to be encouraged to buy an expensive house. And if you go to a jeweler, there's a pretty good chance you're going to be encouraged to buy an expensive ring. However, the size of the engagement ring does not guarantee the success of the marriage, nor does the size of the house guarantee the happiness of the children. And the vitamin C truth here, and this is again very controversial, and I am used to the controversy, the fact of the matter is cheap vitamin C works real well. So cheap vitamin C is what you get. The fact that it's from corn is irrelevant because it can be made from sago palm starch, it can be made from any starch that you like. In the end, you're still going to come up with six carbons, eight hydrogens and six oxygens in a particular form that is vitamin C. Again, GMOs are a bad idea. Try to avoid them. If you can afford to, do so. If you can afford to buy non-GMO vitamin C, wonderful. That sends a message to the marketplace and to the manufacturer. But it's better to take cheap C and be well than to not take enough and to not be well.